Love is a complex and mysterious emotion that has puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries. But recent research in psychology and neuroscience is shedding new light on the subject. In this video, we'll explore the various factors that influence the formation of romantic attachment and the different stages of love. Now let's explore this topic and see the science behind love. The first step in falling in love is attraction. Attraction is the process by which we come to desire and pursue another person. But what exactly is it that makes us attracted to certain people and not others? Research suggests that attraction is influenced by a number of factors, including physical appearance, personality, and social status. But perhaps the most powerful influence on attraction is similarity. Studies have shown that people are more likely to be attracted to those who share their interests, values, and other personal characteristics. Another important factor that plays a role in the formation of romantic attachment is hormones. The release of certain chemicals in the brain, such as dopamine, oxytocin, and vasopressin, can create feelings of pleasure, bonding, and attachment. For example, when we see or think about someone we're attracted to, the release of dopamine in the brain creates feelings of pleasure, reward, and motivation. This is similar to the way drugs or other pleasurable experiences create feelings of pleasure and reward. Recent research using functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI) has also shown that the brains of people in love are different from those of single people. For example, when people in love look at a photo of their romantic partner, the brain's reward centers light up. This suggests that love activates the same neural pathways as other pleasurable experiences such as eating, drugs and sex. It's not just the biology of the brain, but also the cognitive and emotional process of falling in love goes through several stages. Robert Sternberg, a psychologist from Yale University, proposed a triangular theory of love, where love is composed of three components, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy refers to feelings of closeness and emotional connection with one's partner. Passion refers to the physical and sexual attraction one feels for one's partner. And commitment refers to the decision to maintain a relationship with one's partner. It's important to note that these three components don't always occur together, and different types of love, such as companionate love, infatuation and romantic love, involve different combinations of these three components. People most of the time get divorced when they fail to reach the third stage which is commitment. The other two involve some kind of emotions, so what happens when those emotions suddenly disappear? If they disappear and yet you have not reached the stage of commitment, you may end up break up or divorce. It is very important to know that those stages exist, and that if you truly love someone, it is a good idea to learn to love him or her as a decision rather than love merely with emotions. With this, your love will grow and you can maintain long-lasting relationship. In conclusion, the science behind why we fall in love is a complex and multifaceted subject. Attraction, hormones, and brain activity all play important roles in the formation of romantic attachment. And the different stages of love can help us better understand the different types of love we experience. But regardless of the specifics, it's clear that love is a powerful and universal human experience that shapes our lives in countless ways. Thank you for watching our video on the science behind why we fall in love. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this fascinating topic. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on psychology and related subjects.